Hey folks, it's Ben Capozzi, the Main Street Gardener, and <clears throat> excuse me, just wanted to show you I'm um, trying to get back in the habit of planting something, uh, always going out and touching the garden and interacting with it at least once a day. And uh, so I just wanted to show you what I'm going to plant today. And what I'm going to be planting is this beautiful little apple tree right here that uh, I grafted myself. Um, I grafted it back in April, on April 17th, <clears throat> excuse me, earlier this year. And uh, I'm pretty excited because this one is knobbed russet. Uh, I know that because I made a note. Um, and I've grafted it, the rootstock is Antonovka, the scion is knobbed russet. <clears throat> excuse me, but um, I'm excited about it because it's a crazy apple that's been bred, uh, that's been kept since the uh, Middle Ages, medieval times. And uh, I'll include a picture elsewhere so you can see it, uh, what the apples look like, because obviously this thing's not going to fruit anytime soon. But it looks kind of like a HP Lovecraft frog potato monster abomination kind of crazy wooden looking apple. It just looks awesome. Uh, and despite its uh, ugly appearance, it's actually an excellent um, tasting apple. But uh, I always like odd and unusual things, so I'm pretty excited to be growing this. Um, you can see right here, I'll give you a shot of the graft. So there is where it is healing, and actually it's healed over, um, and it's starting to form a, a scab, uh, just like uh, our skin would. But um, the piece that I got from, I'm pretty sure my buddy Mark sent me this, um, started here, and it went down to here, and that's where I grafted. So everything from here on up all was added this year so that's all since uh, the graft so this is pretty uh, healthy I'm pretty excited about it uh, I always when I pop my plants I add a bunch of clover uh, seed to the mix just to um, give it some nitrogen fixation and that way if I uh, sell it or if I plant it myself later <clears throat> it's already kind of got a nice inoculant of uh, nitrogen fixing clover ready to go and get established with it where it is and uh, where I'm gonna put this is over here and it's going into this little island that I've got going on right here with um, one other tree. And I know that's kind of, uh, you might think that's close together, but I tend to keep my trees small and do a fairly intensively managed program. But um, this is a uh, persimmon tree, a Japanese persimmon, Asian persimmon. And um, it's the only thing that uh, gave me a piece of fruit this year, actually. And it was delicious. Um, I actually took it down to uh, Florida and shared it with uh, my youngest niece for... Uh, Thanksgiving. But anyhow, so the knobbed russet is going to go right there, and uh, now I'm going to plant it. I don't have a GoPro or anything, so I can't really show you this all in process, but here's the tree. Getting ready to go in that hole. Storing the dirt on the side so you don't lose any of it. I don't know if you've planted many trees, but usually once you dig the hole and you put the tree in there, you're short of dirt. You always wonder where it went. Uh, you can see I've got this chickweed just kind of cropping up in the yard. It's a, it's a fine little weed. Um, it's actually edible, you can do a lot with it, but I don't care if some of that's in the hole. I took the shovel and I kind of scored the sides of the hole a little bit to help break it up. I break up the soil so that uh, my little tree will um, be off to a good start. I don't apply any amendments or uh, anything into the soil to get it started. And uh, my soil here is very heavy uh, and clay. And one of the reasons I'm excited about using Antonovka as my rootstock is because it is very vigorous. And this wants to produce a full-size tree and I'm gonna be uh, keeping this tree actually quite small so I need something that can stand up to um, my constant cutting and uh, but that also will produce a really strong taproot and root system to keep this thing going so now to put it in the hole so the knob russet apple tree seedling went in no problem uh, filled up the hole quite nicely and actually I have a bunch of leftover dirt so I'll fill in the soil around here get this thing stabilized and uh, in five years or so uh, maybe I can have a knobbed russet apple maybe sooner it depends on uh, the technique that I'm using I'm gonna use this uh, super short tree technique it uh, may force some uh, precocity precocity or uh, early bearing um, in the tree so we'll see if that happens or not but well, that's okay I'm in it for a long haul if you're gonna grow trees uh, you got to be in it for the long haul and I look forward to coming out here right off of uh, the back door kitchen and enjoying the kitchen garden and uh, in late fall getting persimmons and knobbed russet apples. 
Uh, if you like this kind of stuff, um, I do more stuff everywhere online at uh, the Main Street Gardener, uh, at Ben Capozzi, on Twitter and Instagram. And I uh, also sow plants and trees through uh, Elmwood Farm Tree Crops, the uh, nursery here in uh, Southside, Virginia. Have a great day, and I'll catch you later. So before I go, I just wanted to show you guys, as promised, a picture of the uh, knobbed russet apple. I won't get mine for, <clears throat> you know, three to five years, but I want to show you what it looks like. It's in the uh, oddballs chapter here, and uh, there's a beautiful write-up on it and uh, some more pictures of it. But um, this is from uh, Rowan Jacobson's book, Apples of Uncommon Character, which is really uh, excellent, excellent. It's, a, it's a, I don't know, apple pornography. Um, for people who are interested in um, <clears throat> growing apple trees. And um, actually, this shaped a lot of the uh, apples that I added to our orchard um, this year. So anyhow, highly recommended book. Um, I'll have a link to it um, in the comments below the video and uh, elsewhere. So check it out.